Hello everyone, welcome back in today's session on Informatica MDM Load by Row ID. So what is Row ID? Row ID nothing but it is the Row ID object in the base object table. So we know that we load the data into the base object table from the staging table. So that is called as a load process. So during the load process data is pushed from the staging table to base object table. So how the data will be pushed into the staging table? It is pushed by from the stage job and it will during the stage job it will move the data from the landing table into the stage table. During the load job the data will be moved from the staging table into the base object table. Then what is the load by row ID? So let's see details about that. So moving the data from the staging table into the base object table by using the row id object column it is it is called as a load by row id object so does that means do you have any other option to load the data yes of course we have so we can preserve the unique column from the source system and that column will be used to load the data into the base object so either you can use the preserve column from the source system or you can use the row id object but it is always preferable to use the row ID object to load the data from the staging table into the base object table. Then why we have to use the load by row ID object process instead of any other normal way. So we can use the other way like we can use the uh, preserve unique key from the source to load the data. But in order to streamline the load match and merge process we have to go with the load by the row ID. So it will definitely row ID object is introduced by the Informatica MDM. So it definitely helps for the several processes, the other process like the match and merge. So it is always how uh, if you prefer to load by row ID, it is always good. Then how can we configure the load by row ID? So suppose I want to configure the low load by row ID of load by row id how can i configure it is very simple and it is very straightforward we know that the row id object is available in two main tables that is staging table as well as load table of course it contains in the cross reference it contains in the history table the main table i'm talking about is staging and the base so the row id object contains a row id object column contains in the staging and the base object table so we need to map somewhere that column so that's why we have to first create the uh, our custom or the business column into the landing table. So now we, we have to create a table like this. Here it is given as simple sample example as a the name of column is input underscore row ID underscore object. So once you create the row ID object with let like it input row ID object into the landing table, the next step will be mapping that column with the row ID object. We know that in the staging table the row ID object present. So we have to map the input row ID object from the landing table to the row ID object of the staging table. So once you configure the input row, uh, input row ID object with the row ID object into the staging table, that is the configuration. That is the only configuration required for achieving this functionality. Now, how this load by row ID works? The internal process is categorized into two way. The first is insert process and the second is update process. First, we'll see the update process. So when we start any load job, okay, we know that there are various jobs available into the informatic MDM hub. Out of that, the stage job where we push the record from the staging into the base object. And when we when you start that using the Informatic MDM Hub Console or the if you call the a procedure from the power center or from the unit shell script, so you can have the several ways to call the load process. So when you call the load process, the first thing it do, uh, it does, and that is nothing but it compares the raw ID object with what? So it compares the row ID object with the original row ID object column into the cross reference table. So row ID, suppose we are pushing the record from the staging table, having the customer uh, is the table, customer staging customer is a table and it has a value row ID object as a one. Okay. 
in the cross reference table there will be a column called as original row id object so that one value will be compared into the the one value from the staging table will be compared into the original row id object column into the cross reference if the record is match found that nothing but means if the that one record value found into the cross reference table inside the original row id object column that means record is matched so once record is matched the next thing co comes is nothing but comparing the pk source object and the source system so pk source object is a, a significant feature of the staging table and a row id also row id system which will determine from the which source system the record is coming so it will compare first the row id object then it will compare the pk source object and the row id system so once all these three fields found into the cross reference table that means the whatever the record is coming that has to be updated into the cross reference doesn't matter which column get updated for example for that customer table for the staging table row id object is one and have the first name last name out of all those columns the only the first name has got updated consider this scenario in that case the row id object that is with value one will be found into the cross reference pk source will be found along in the row id system also so that means with this three columns that is row id object pk source object and the row id system the record will be matched into the cross reference and cross reference table if the record is matched found the other column will be updated into the cross reference table so till this point we are not touched to the base objects so what we have done it will internally compare the row id object with the original row id object of the cross reference if it is found that means record is matched then it will compare the pk source and the row id system once all these three columns found into the cross reference table record will be get updated into the cross reference table now the finally what happens the bvt recalculation will happen or the a base value or the the cell which is having the more trust value or the more um, bvt value that will win and that record will be that record will be inserted into the base object table so th such record will be updated not inserted so th that record is already present in the base object that will be just updated with this new uh, new uh, cross reference table and uh, uh, this new cross reference value so this is update process now the insert process is suppose we know that during the load process the row id object is compared with the original row id object in the cross reference if that row id does not match into the cross reference or if row id match found but the pk source and the uh, row id source uh, row id system does not match into the cross reference that means that record is completely new okay so in that case the new record will be inserted into the cross reference table first so it will come it will have the first three steps first it will compare the row id object with the original row id object then it will compare the pk source object and the row id system based on that it will determine whether the record is um available or not into the cross reference if it is not available that means it is completely new record into the cross reference so new record will be inserted into the cross reference first and after that the record will be inserted into the base object table so of course it will depend on the uh, it will have the winning cell values so this is the way the record will be updated or record will be inserted so the thing is it will compare the row id object first into the cross reference table with the original row id object then it will compare the pk source object and the row id system and then it will insert into the the first record will be inserted into cross reference and then it will insert into the base object table so these are this is the way uh, the load by the row id works if you have any question about this process load by row id object you can mention in the video below And if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button thanks for watching the video